A size matter. Yes. <laughs> she didn't hesitate. No, it, do- it, it definitely doesn't. <laughs> definitely not. Why not? Um, I think it's just that connection with each individual person. Does size matter? Uh, no, I don't think so. And for me, like, too small would be like, like five. Five or seven. Seven? seven. Damn! The global average is 5.5 inches. That's five and five. All right, what's going on, everybody? If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. We are stone cold stunning. Out of on our way to a thousand subscribers baby and you guys don't want to miss out so jump on the bandwagon be here we got some good stuff coming for you guys so today what we want to talk about is our head unit right we want to talk about if you're going to get a different aftermarket head unit if you're thinking about upgrading your sound system or whatever um, I can just tell you from my experience um, of the head unit that I decided to install which is this Jensen car 1000 right 10.1 or 10.2 inch articulating screen it works great um, for what I wanted for the purpose that I wanted for this truck with the build that I was going for I kind of wanted something that was going to be modern uh, give me some of the modern you know touches but not be overwhelming like I didn't need to go with a full-on um, dash overhaul with like a Tesla screen or that kind of stuff um, but I wanted something that was going to be functional be touch screen have all the bells and whistles allow me to hook up my subs and um, and just have ourselves a good old time right so what I'm gonna say is that um, you know they make a seven and a half inch screen they make 12 inch articulating screens that can fit in here um, I'm gonna say that I think 10.1 is probably the biggest that I would go I don't think you know how big 12 inches is do you see that just in scale where is that going not in here, okay? The average gal is gonna get about that much. Maybe this, if they're a pro, but the rest of that, completely unmanageable. This as far as um, the route that I took with, um, with my head unit. And the reason why is because my shifter knob, um, right, which is right here, it's right in front of my screen. Like it's about a finger width, um, it's, it's about a finger width away right from touching the screen so if I, I have articulated the screen in a way that's going gonna be most ergonomic for me um, but I will say that the shifter is close um, now that's only in park all right the shifters close only in park because when you're driving it's out of the way like completely um, so there's really no issue there um, now as far as hooking this head unit up if you have, I guess, an 03 to 07 Chevy Silverado and you are trying to figure out how to get power to your head unit, all right, I would suggest, and this is my opinion, right, this is my opinion only, I would suggest going into the first ignition fuse in your fuse box inside of the truck, your accessory fuse box or your interior fuse box. Um, the reason being is because I went ahead and took the opportunity. I took the privilege, the liberty, and the luxury to go out there and painstakingly, okay, go through each of the suggested fuses, okay, and tell you guys which ones were gonna work and which ones gonna we're not gonna work. And I'm gonna tell you, all of them are not gonna work except for ignition fuse one. So you're gonna run a self-tapping fuse into there, right? which is gonna connect your power then for your head unit. The reason why I went there is because when you go to the AC, like some people tell you to do, when you go to another ignition fuse that people are telling you guys to do, when you turn off the car, the head unit is gonna stay on and it's gonna drain your battery. Or some other weird stuff is gonna happen. The dash lights are gonna turn off when you need them to be on. The interior lights on the dash uh, for your AC isn't gonna work. Your dome light's gonna stay on and not turn off when you shut off the car. You're gonna have some weird gremlin type stuff going on and you don't want that and I don't want that for you, right? So, so I went ahead and I just went through the pain for you already, okay? So I'm not gonna say it's gonna work for you but I'm gonna say what works for me and what I would suggest to my best buddies if they had the same type of truck, interior fuse, uh, 
your ignition fuse one, right? That's why I'd be running this thing. Now, after having this head unit now for over, you know, two years, I can, you know, confidently now say that I've had no issues. The thing works great, you know? So I haven't had any, any problems with it. The Apple CarPlay works good. So it does have a cord that's attached to the back of the head unit. And I made a little hideaway wire that comes all the way through my key change. So if I want the wire out, um, I can pull it out of my key change uh, area and uh, not my key change, my change area, my change bin. I can pull it out of my change bin. What am I calling a key change? Anyway, um, and if I don't want this like cord, I'll show y'all, to be like unsightly and hanging out. I just think that's ugly. When people have this cord, okay, and it's hanging out the front of their dash and it's just, it's messy. Right, so if I don't want this out, I want to be able to roll it up and put it inside my change compartment here. And then I know you can't see it, so sorry, but I'll show you guys that. And then and be able to lift it up. So now it's hidden. Like you're like, oh, you have Apple CarPlay. Well, where's your where's your cord? Oh, boom shakalaka, right down here. Okay, it's nice and it keeps it tidy inside of the cockpit here. Um, the other thing I like about it is it's got a blue background on mine, so it works well with all of the toggles that I have, right? So I wanted to have, you know, my nice blue toggles, and this is a nice blue black background, so it looks like, you know, it fits well together. At the end of the day, kind of the interior look that I was going for was something clean, something modern, something that looks like it could have been stock, but you know that it's not, you know? like along those lines I don't want it to be obnoxious um, though it is a little bit obnoxious um, and I just didn't want it to be out of hand or uncomfortable right so with that you know that's my take on it is bigger better come on guys you guys know it's all about the motion of the ocean whatever is gonna fit and be good for you is what I would suggest and um, you don't know you can't go big unless you try it but you also know that sometimes good things come in small packages i will see you guys in the next video if you like this video go ahead and subscribe otherwise i'm going to see you guys next time have a great day